My name is Juliet Waldron and I have chosen to review Ambient CR for my assignment. The commercial starts out with us watching a woman tossing and turning in bed experiencing difficulty in sleeping. At this point the narrator begins to speak on how the lack of proper sleep can affect a person's entire day, which then shows the, the woman at work looking and feeling sluggish. The narrator then suggests in taking a two-layer Ambien CR. He describes the two layers as, he then describes the two layers. The first layer is, de is designed to quickly dissolve to put the person to sleep. The second layer is designed to dissolve sleep slowly to keep the person asleep throughout the night. The commercial then shows the woman sleeping soundly throughout the night. As she continues to sleep soundly, the narrator then goes on to list the precaution and contraindications in using Ambien. He advises not to drive or use machinery. He states that sleepwalking, eating, and driving may occur when not fully awake and the patient may experience memory loss um, of such events. Abnor abnormal behavior, such as um, being more forward or outgoing, agitation, confusion, and hallucinations may all occur. He also advises not to drink alcohol because it may increase such abnormal behavior. The narrator then goes on to describe the signs and symptoms of an adverse reaction if a patient was, was taking Ambien. He describes them as shortness of breath, um, your tongue and throat sw um, sw um, swelling, and then in some rare cases, they can even be fatal. At this point in the commercial, the woman begins to wake up, is feeling refreshed, and goes to work. The narrator then describes the side effects of Ambien, which are um, headache, dizziness, and next day drowsiness. He does say that patients with depression May, experiencing, may experience worsening depression and the risk of suicide. He advises that any person taking an, um, Ambien and experiences adverse reactions or side effects to notify the healthcare provider immediately. An interesting aspect of the commercial was that towards the end of the commercial in a subtitle, there was um, a, a notation stating that patients taking Ambien can experience drug dependency. In regards to the uh, product information and the accuracy of the commercial, I found them to be very accurate. In fact, um, the product information had um, data on a, on a clinical trial that was conducted over a three-week period. The, the results of that trial demonstrated that the most common side effects that the people in the trial experienced were, as the commercial stated, dizziness, headache, and next day um, drowsiness. Um, in regards to how I would approach um, my patient's request uh, upon asking for Ambien, I would, um, I would first attempt to assess and find out exactly what is their difficulty in sleeping uh, because there are four areas that uh, people will experience such difficulty. Is the patient experiencing um, falling asleep? Is the patient experiencing staying asleep? Is the patient experiencing um, uh, waking up in the middle of the night and having difficulty going back to sleep? Oh, is the patient waking up and not feeling ref refreshed? Each of these components can indicate different problems, and as healthcare providers, we need to further evaluate um, the situation. Um, also, I would have to, um, before prescribing the medication, I would actually suggest that the patient would attempt to try some sleep hygiene measures, such as suggestions such as keeping um, the bedroom strictly for sleep and sex, um, not to um, work in bed, not to sleep in, uh, excuse me, not to um, eat in bed, and not to read in bed. And also to try measures such as exercise, uh, because if stress is a factor, exercising might, be, might help them to relieve some of the stress and hopefully then they would be able to sleep a little better. 
Um, in regards to the question of what is my personal position on pharmaceutical advertisement, my opinion on pharmaceutical advertisement is that these advertisements are making our patients more aware of what products are available to them. As healthcare providers, we will need to be more cognizant of, of the latest and newest drugs on the market. Thereby, when the patient comes in and says, well, this is what I heard, and um, this is what I watched on television, we are able to accurately and properly provide them with the information on the medication they're um, requesting information on. Uh, lastly, in regards to the question on how I can use pharmaceutical advertisement for my, pa for my patient's advantage, I believe that pharmaceutical advertisement provide an opportunity for an open discussion. When the patient comes into the office and says, well, this is what I, I saw on television, it provides that forum for an open discussion and also a learning opportunity, whereby, thereby allowing the patient to be an active participant in his care, allowing the opportunity to provide education and answering all of the questions that they might have. Um, that's it. Thank you.